gonna find your way around blocks if you can and i mean are you gonna be breaking crafting table as much as you want to it's a tough one to go with i mean like playing into playing into steve as a fast follower is just always a rough time because the jab trains at zero exist and are so potent mm -hmm. and there's more and more ways that steve mains are finding uh, opportunities in order to get them off with right. stuff like the fbc the footstool block cancel that's been experimented a lot as of late as the like new steve tech of the day mm -hmm. but wolf of the very least has good airspeed and has ways to interact with blocks utilizing disjoints which can certainly help play into the nebulous type of neutral that steve can give you but yeah syrup is sometimes in a breed of his own True, and it's like it's it's nice to see you know that Wolf does have a lot of straight hits that he can go for a straight aerials and those up tilts. Syrup looking for a landing from Lemon Tea, but not not giving that opportunity to Syrup. So even though he's at deficit, he's still trying to find some damage, and I can I can you know applaud him for that. Yeah, he's playing this very very slow, which kind of you kind of have to just finding the up tilt into back air is Syrup minimizing some of these damage, forcing Syrup just to find like small conversions after the initial BNBs, and more importantly, lowering the resource bar. He's yes. not very much into his uh, mining loop in order to get diamonds super quickly. No blocks, nice. a couple gold. We're in pretty good position for Lemon T if he's able to find something Ooh. off of this double forward air, but not converting into the up smash. So it gives Lemon T yet again another opportunity. There's the diamond. Yeah, and the cool thing with Steve Ooh. is that even though you don't have a lot of, you know, materials, once you have a gold and an iron, you're just able to use minecart like you see right there and just green center stage again. So that's something that I do want to see Syrup go for a little bit more when he's in this corner, when he's being pressured by Lemon T, who, again, has been doing a very, very good job of being in his face. But the moment that you give Syrup the opportunity to go for a back air or an aerial, you're going to be punished for it. Now, huge damage coming because of that block, that wall that Syrup set up. Him from off the wall and then converts into a higher combo utilizing the oh stack, my God. forcing off stage. And the important thing to note about Wolf Flash, it does not snap ledge immediately. The hitbox has Ooh. to come out first. Uh, down smash, a good delay on the part of Lemon Tea in order to make it back, but Syrup is just letting the good times Jeez. roll here. All right, finally going for that diamond, realizing that he could. <laughs> this is the most optimal craft. No one to reach the crafting table into craft diamond. Hey, that's why he is one of the best in PR top three in New Jersey, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just that knowledge is crazy. All right, no risk really from Syrup. Gets the minecart. Are you dead for that? No, nah, I was about to say. Oh, then you are dead from that anvil. And man, that second stock, I feel like just you know, wasn't there the entire time for Lemon Tea. I feel like he was playing at two stocks, you know, in this yeah. entire game. And that was crazy how Syrup was able to extend off of just that big wall that he created, like you're going to see right here. Just knowing that Lemon Tea had no option whatsoever, then getting a down smash to, again, punish that wolf flash. Very, very good stuff from Syrup as he goes into this with one game. And even the block there. So if Lemon T did Wolf Smash too early or tried to drift away, he would have landed on the block. The down smash still would have hit him. Like, that's such an amazing checkmate scenario that Syrup did. And he pulled a, the uh, the setup right from uh, what you were saying a little earlier, Jellyfish. Like, do not let uh, Lemon T get comfortable playing this jump back and forth and fainting game. Instead, change up the tempo, find your way to center instead of playing in the corner, and flip the script on Lemon T, who came in with a pretty rock solid game plan. Right, and then again, that was just immediately shut down by when he lost that second stock. I could definitely sense that there was a loss of momentum there. Yeah. But right now, Syrup, again, with all this momentum on his side, Making sure that he is managing his materials pretty well, just setting up blocks. Good stuff for uh, Lemon Tea for trying to go for fares and nares to break those blocks, but Syrup is just one step ahead. Yeah, he's finding ways to cover this jump, like playing around Lemon Tea's high movement uh, idea when it comes to playing around blocks, not often trying to destroy them, which he does leave you open to air to airs from Steve's massive buttons like that back air and that right. forward air. I just kind of want to see Lemon T like play a little bit more cautious here. He's very much throwing caution into the wind sometimes, which leads you to situations like that. It looks scary, but if you roll, you break the bottom block because you cannot exist and the block just disappears. Right. You have to, you have to be able to recognize these scenarios. Oh, Ooh, no tech on the platform. Speaking of recognizing scenarios, Syrup getting, you know, getting hit with the agency block right there <laughs> with no tech. But the iron block is going to allow Syrup to regain a lot of his materials 
And while you don't really want to waste that material, it can be very, very helpful for Syrup, especially in this scenario where he's now got to reset neutral. He's got to reset these stocks with, with you know, with what little he has. Yeah, we're back to playing this very slow and stable game here for Lemon Tea. Like, whittle down resources, play within Syrup's comfort zone, but nowhere that's going to get you really strung up. Again, only a couple jabs thanks to some good SDI. Oh, my. oh. Dang. You know what I said about good SDI? <laughs> I'm like, oh, you SDI away, you up and away, you get out of those combos. That's really good. But uh, SDI too far, and you know, he kind of got spiked there, and you're also dead for that one. I was explaining the previous stock syrup. <laughs> Please slow down for us. <laughs> Come on, my guy. But yeah. I want to compliment you without you continuing to do good plays. Why did you do this, syrup? Brother. <laughs> my brother in Christ, please. <laughs> All right, but that's a 204 syrup, and honestly, 90% of the time, what do you expect when it comes to Steve against a fast bar? Like, if that fast bar isn't representing their movement recklessly yeah. and uh, immensely, one touch and they can theoretically just die at any single moment, and that's kind of what it felt like with syrup representing. Like, a yeah. lot of movement from Lemon Tea, but as soon as Syrup got a hand on him, mm -hmm. that bubble was popped and that wolf was off the stage. Yeah, and while I did want to, you know, see Lemon Tea play a little bit more patiently, I kind of can't blame him for not wanting to stay back because that gives yeah. Syrup the opportunity to just mine, set up these blocks, set up traps potentially, which we didn't see TNT at all. Syrup clearly didn't need that, but, you know, having that in your back pocket and in the mind of Lemon Tea at all times really does play to that, you know, that kind of war of attrition that... It really wasn't played by Lemon Tea at all. I mean, again, patient gameplay might have been the play there, but, you know, only time can tell. You know, 2 0 4 0. Very, very solid 2 0 very, against very a defensive. good player like Lemon Tea. But. Yeah, Lemon Tea had uh, beaten Marcus uh, yeah. on his way here, which is another tough matchup for. Dude, uh, that's crazy. A tough, like, player matchup when it comes to, like, playing against Game and Watch. But Lemon Tea playing well, but Syrup just that much better playing a very, very good matchup for Wolf. Uh, for, for against Wolf. I would have liked to see Lemon T not go to PS2, but that's besides me. Steve is really that's, good 